Hey guys, Andrew here with Dadverb. We're gonna get a look at the Upper Baby Menu V2 and check out some subtle differences compared to the Menu V1 and see if this is a compact travel stroller that you should add to your arsenal or if you should make a pivot. Now this is my favorite type of stroller to use. I love that it has a small profile and can quickly open at a moment's notice. Now the stroller weighs about 17 pounds. So in line with most of the high-end compact strollers and the market, uh, you know, give or take a pound or two. And it's ideal for travel, being able to fit into overhead compartments on most airlines. We just did a trip to California with it and we were able to store it in the overhead compartment with no problem. Now, probably the biggest update that we're looking at with the V2 compared to the original option is gonna be largely centered around the canopy. Right? The canopy uh, of the older model has a UV protection flap that you would you know, pull out, uh, but with the V2, they updated it to meet this industry standard of unzipping and expanding that third panel. So very cool to see that now included in this compact. At the top, you can reveal that mesh peep window for added ventilation and that pocket at the rear is actually pretty awesome. It's something that we use a ton on both models. But one thing that I have noticed is that it feels characteristically you know, baggier, I guess you can say, at the back. It's not something that ever bothered me. Uh, but now that I've tested multiple compacts, I noticed that over time, it just doesn't feel as buttoned up compared to you know something like the Bugaboo Butterfly. It seems like there's just excess fabric flapping around and it's mostly to accommodate the recline, which you know we're gonna get into. I don't think that this is gonna deter you from buying the V2, but it's an aesthetic thing. Uh, that, I, you know, that I have noticed. Now moving on to the fold, it is a one-handed fold exactly the same as before where you slide the lock under the handle and press the button at the front. It folds down to a fairly compact state. But one thing to note is when comparing it to the V1, uh, it feels like it has a slightly thicker side profile. It's just it's very subtle. Uh, and I think that can be attributed to the bumper bar, which now comes standard with the V2. So, you know, a good trade-off. Um, another minor change is how the locking mechanism is now spring-loaded rather than being held with a single flexible piece of plastic. And like before, you can open it from the ground up or while holding it at chest level. The bumper bar is accented with a very nice leather and complements the handlebar at the top, but you can leave it off or just swap it out altogether for another add-on accessory like their snack tray. On that note, there are a bunch of accessories that you can check out, but one noteworthy highlight is that their new Mesa car seat adapter can now fold down with the stroller, which amends a major issue with the previous model where you had to clip them on and off every single time. We, we just got done using those adapters and the V1 in our trip to California, and it was massively annoying. I, I mean, the, the menu was great for our flight and the trip itself, but I mean, if you plan on using your menu with a Mesa car seat pretty regularly, I would highly recommend you buy the V2 over the, over the V1 uh, with those new adapters. Um, well, then again, I don't know if those new adapters apply to the V1, but if they don't, then yeah, definitely invest in the V2 over finding the V1 at a lower price on somewhere like Facebook Marketplace. Moving on to the seat, not much has changed here with their standard five point harness. It'll support littles up to 50 pounds and has a semi full recline. So not a complete lay flat feature like we've seen with the, you know, the Ergo Metro Plus, for example, but still something they're gonna sleep in comfortably. Uh, when our first was younger, he slept in his a bunch and it was fine. All it takes for a recline is a simple pinch of the strap lock, uh, but getting it back up does require your little to sit up a bit before firmly tugging the straps on either side. I, you know, If not, it's gonna be pretty difficult uh, to get it back up. New for the V2 is how the calf rest can be adjusted as needed, and uh, really helps lengthen the seat pan for more comfort when it is in its recline form. Lastly, at the bottom, we've got a storage basket that can hold up to 20 pounds and wheels, which are effectively the same as before with no major updates there. You've got you know, all wheel suspension, which is fine for its category suspension with compacts. You know, they're not really groundbreaking, right? Uh, but even with the V1, the drive was always easy yet sturdy, which isn't something that you always get with lightweight travel compact options uh, that, you know, that can often feel pretty loose and janky. Now, to round this all out, let's talk about your buying decision. To me, the Menu V2 in comparison to the V1 would be considered a major minor, meaning, you know, I don't think the jump between the two versions is very drastic the way the Upa Cruise V2 was with the V1. Uh, that was a, a bigger switch, which the Cruise is a phenomenal stroller, by the way. Check out my review on that when you have a chance. Highly recommend that. 
Uh, but the slight improvements to the canopy, the addition of the bumper bar, the leg rest adjustments, and the improved Mesa adapter do make it a worthy upgrade. But is it worthy of its $450 price tag? You know, for me, I'm not as all in gung ho about the jump like I was with the V1 back in 2018, because at the time, the menu was a game changer and really set the tone for the category. But since then, the market has really caught up uh, with a bunch of great options from uh, Kalugo, Nuna, and a bunch of others. So if you're asking me which is the best buy at the moment, I think I, I would take the Bugaboo Butterfly, which actually retails for slightly less at 429 as of this recording. But there is a caveat to this because the menu is a very, very good purchase from a brand known for taking care of their customers and a pedigree of quality. Now, I'm not saying that the Butterfly is better by a large margin. I mean, if anything, it barely edges it out for me for just what I perceive to be a more compact fold and a cleaner design, not for anything related to the comfort or push, which ultimately that's the most important thing here. The caveat here is if you're already in the Uppa Baby family with options like the Cruise or the Mesa as part of your system, it might make more sense to just run with the menu. Our V1 Mesa adapts nicely with our menu. And in fact, we were actually dead set on traveling recently with our butterfly until we realized that we already had everything we needed on the menu to adapt to our Mesa. So, you know, that's what we took instead. And it traveled perfectly. It really does live up to the hype. The one thing that I will say is just don't take it on sand. Uh, in a recent beach trip, sand got into the locking joints a little bit and it almost like ruin uh, everything about the stroller, like opening the fold, the closing, like it made it almost impossible. So just try to avoid sand uh, more so. Don't fold it and then let it rest in sand. That's kind of the bigger thing. To round it out, we were really happy with our V1 all these years. And given that the V2 isn't really packing like otherworldly upgrades, aside from that much improved uh, Mesa adaptability, I mean, you may still find the V1 pretty serviceable for your family needs, especially if you aren't picky about the canopy. So if you want, you can hop on Marketplace and search your local area for menu steals closer to 200, 250 range. Uh, and if you would like, there's also a link down below uh, for the menu V2. Clicking through that link uh, will help support this channel. It's at no additional cost to you guys. So please consider doing that. That's my review. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for young families, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless. Later.